power of language. Mafia and the Evil Yus Chronicles. I'm sure everyone has a role model that they look up to. For me, it has to be Vocaloid producer Mafia Kuno P. He is the creator of the Evil Yus Chronicles, which became popular for its songs depicting the seven deadly sins. I look up to Mafia because he puts a lot of thought and dedication into his stories and songs. While I would love to stretch this into a 30 minute video breaking down everything that I can about his series, I will focus this video on one song, Gift from the Princess Who Brought Sleep. This song is about a woman named Marguerite of Blankenheim. She is the daughter of a doctor, who gets married to her childhood lover, Casper Blankenheim. Margarita knows deep down that Casper only married her for her father's money, but she claims to be okay with that, and to be okay with the fact that Casper is a good-for-nothing playboy. Margarita herself sings in the first verse. <laughs> One day, Margarita offers Casper a gift, a medicine to help him sleep, to relax from all of his stress and anxiety. She goes on to sing about being the sleep princess, who helps those who are unable to sleep. All this, while at some point of the video, text explains how Margarita was actually troubled from the marriage, and her friend, Julia, had given her instructions to refine a medicine called gift. Margarita reflects on sleep being an escape from reality in these lyrics. <laughs> As Margarita spreads her improving gift throughout the town, more text is shown on the screen. News of Casper having died, along with Margarita's father, death tolls up in the double digits, the possible involvement of a crime organization, and even banning people leaving and entering the city of Toraga because of the mysterious pandemic. Afterward, we see the English definition of the word gift. Like at the start of the song, it shows the common meaning, present, something donated, charity, and such. It is then replaced with the German definition, being poison, toxin, powerful medicine. But then, Margarita's selfless chorus of wanting to help people sleep changes to this. <laughs> Margarita then goes on to say how she was always used and put on display like a decorative doll. She claims to have been broken long ago, and how she wanted to destroy everything. She reveals that her gift was a very powerful medicine, efficacious enough to being able to sleep forever. She then bid farewell, saying she has gone from being the sleep princess to sleeping princess. Now that I've broken the song down, let me explain why this song is such an amazing example of Mafi's thoughtful writing. Now, I should clarify that, in the novel, Margarita is actually the vessel of sloth, the clockworker's doll, using its powers to hypnotize everyone into thinking it is Margarita, even the doll itself. The effects of being a doll, Margarita cannot sleep like everyone else. She suffers from great depression because of this, and Casper had given her an entire separate room to sleep in because her condition disturbed him. Through the lyrics and reveal of Margarita's insanity, it is possible that Margarita only told herself that she was helping people sleep, only because she was unable to sleep herself. The use of the German definition of gift was very, very clever, and one of my favorite things about this story. Torage, the city this story takes place in, is located in the country of Elfgort, which Mafi based off of Germany. And so, the German definition of gift makes so much sense in context and was used greatly with the twist of gift being a toxin, not a medicine to help people. The theme of sloth is also very clever. When sloth comes to mind, people usually think of someone slow and lazy. Sloth is the most difficult sin to define, as there are actually a lot of ideas that it could relate to. In Mothi's rendition, it could be Margarita's depression and eventual suicide. After all, if you don't love yourself and your life, you are refusing any joy from God. To wrap this up, I love this song and the story. It's a good example of Mothi's great storytelling that I love so dearly. In fact, this song in particular has inspired one of my characters and made me want to think about how to do world building. I've given my best at giving a simple explanation of this song, so please, go check out Mafi's story of the Evil Yus Chronicles. I couldn't recommend it enough. The series is very long, there is a lot of information and songs, and new content still coming out. That is all for now. Thank you for listening.